privilege to have you all here today for this blessed union between man and elf. It's, gonna be a, it's a great day for it. Let's get on with it. My son, keep it together. I have three more of these to do today. And now for the vows. The groom. They say that the true love doesn't just show up on your doorstep, but in this instance it did. In the very moment you came into my home, you came into my heart, and into so many other parts of my body. And over this time, I've been privileged to spend my life with someone who I hold so dear. They say that an elfy relationship it's built on communication. And your stoic silence and that unending smile have done nothing but communicate to me an undying love. They say Christmas comes only once a year. And I'm so glad I get to see you come every day. <laughs> as I stand here looking at that familiar little smirk, I'm so lucky to get to marry the elf that I love. And I love you from here to the end of time, jingling all the way. Fantastic. And the elf. Gordon, when I first came into your home, it was nothing short of a Christmas miracle. I know that it was a rocky start and you felt threatened by my love, but I only wanted to show you that I would be there for you. And yes, I did have a knife, but love is incisive. It was a metaphor. But now I sit happily in your bean cupboard because I know that you've been there for me and I've been there for you. There are only 52 weeks in a year but 57 varieties of Heinz and I hope we can explore every one together like two beans in a pod. I love you Gordon. We shall now present the rings. Just in my pocket there. Other pocket. 
jacket pocket. Oh, the w the jacket closest to you. Not your jacket. My pocket. There it is. There it is. Rummaging. Around. And by the power invested in me. Do you, Gordon Jalapeno Ramsey, take Elf as your lawfully wedded Elf? I do. And do you, Elf, take Gordon Jalapeno Ramsey as your husband? <laughs> and by the power invested in me, I now pronounce you Man and Elf. You may now kiss your Elf. Thank <laughs> you.